Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. I think I set, have said in the past I want to make this game last as soon as possible. Yeah, that's re No, not my sword! It's not really the case anymore. I've decided on what my next uh, two games are going to be. You can actually go in here for a secret. And a rock! Well, a secret rock. Oh, um, no. Ah, damn it. But I've decided on what my new games are going to be. No, I'm not going to tell you. Have I ever told you any of my games before the LP was over in the past? Really? Really? You expect me to tell you? Ah, oh, damn it. Can't believe you would think that. You'll have to wait until the last couple of seconds of this LP for you to know the next game. But, ooh, I cannot wait that. Wait for that. What's this game to shame? It's also nostalgic and oh so fun. Dang, I wish I still had that rock. Because rocks can be used to open these pegs, and I'm down to one health. Jeez. Jesus. Ooh, high jump. Mm, high jump can be useful. Damn it, I didn't get high jump. Um, oh well. I guess I'll just go up here and die. Oh, these things. Yeah, if, if you use your suck ability on these things, ah, they get all pissed off at you. Ow, oh, it killed me anyways. I've got 21 lives, I don't care. Just use uh, Kirby's slide attack. And then get Tornado. Which makes everything I said pointless. Pretty sure you can bypass all this using Tornado. Yep. Hey, that was UFO. I do want UFO. Come on, get over here. UFO! Yes. <laughs> Beam is probably the most useful thing. Cause laser, eh, it's kind of weird. It's kind of wonky if you're not using it on a, on a like a puzzle or something. Electrify and destroy all of you. <laughs> Ow! Yeah. But yeah. On on the LP that's going to be following uh, Mario 3, uh, it was actually a pretty damn difficult game, but I'm going to cheat. Horribly going to cheat. Because <laughs> I really don't want to play a hard game after finishing Mario 3 blind. I mean, if you've seen that, and because it's lower on the list than this one, I did that intentionally, you probably will have already seen it. Ooh, bunkers! Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. You know what? I've decided to give you guys a big clue on my on what I'm going to play after this. All right. My clue is the game is amazing. That's actually more of a clue than you think it is. The game is amazing. Think about it. Uh, and that's all you get. Extremely vague clue. But it will all make sense when it is revealed at the end of this LP. Actually, no. It'll be at more of the beginning of that. Because I usually say, like, See you in Dreamland. Like I said for this one, since it's Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, I said, See you in Dreamland. And the last one, and I'll say whatever uh, I need to say in that one. So, it's kind of a clue, and you don't really know until the next one. That's, that's how I like to play this game. LPing game. <laughs> Let's play LPing game. That's not redundant at all. What are you talking about, Catherine? Who's Catherine? I have no idea. I'm talking to myself? You betcha! I swear, sometimes I just, like, oh yeah, uh, what you gotta do here? Man, this is familiar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no. What you gotta do here actually is go in through one of these windows and then you can get the one up. 
No matter which door you go into, it will always be in the other door. I could have sworn I already did this level. Oh, I need to go into the bottom one. I need to go down here somewhere. Uh, let's see. There doesn't appear to be anything down here. I don't know these secrets. I'll probably look them up and come back to them after the LP is over. Maybe for bonus parts, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to... I may come back to this game, but I'm probably going to end it off after you, after I beat the final boss. But, <laughs> I haven't made good on one promise of doing any bonus parts. Pretty sure I'm not going to do Yoshi's bonus parts, because, well, you kind of have to get all of the the red coins and such to... Ah, oh, damn. All the collectible... Really? Really? Uh, I didn't even know that could happen. But you have to get all the collectibles... Oh, damn it. You have to get everything to even get to the special stages. I don't think I've even ever played the special stages, even as a kid. Because, honestly, a kid's not going to have the patience, especially me. Me, as a kid, is not going to have the patience to... Mmm, tasty. Or the attention span, apparently. To even, like, go and get everything, and then... So, just so I can play those extra levels. That's something that's not going to be happening. Alright. Yeah, I'll just get rid of that. Oh, these damn things. See? It gets all crazy. I don't know if I've shown this yet, but... Yeah, they explode after a little bit. Coconut Kirby! Man, that'd be amazing. You know what would be cool? If in a Kirby game, any enemy that you can suck up, you get a power from. No matter what, if it's a Waddle D or one of those broom guys, you can get something out of it. That would be pretty amazing. All right, that would I would just that would be crazy because you would have so much variety. They should need to come up with a lot more powers. I mean, and I'm pretty sure they do come out with a one or two new powers in every game. Like. I remember I was playing, I think it was Squeak Squad, and they came out with Animal and a few more. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, I like Sword more than Beam. Swad! I could have sworn I've done this already. Did I, did I load the wrong state or something? I don't think so. Maybe I just practiced this and, nev and didn't, like, LP it yet. Yeah. I like how Kirby's a perfect circle when he spins while he's underwater using the... Well, using the sword or the hammer. Because he does pretty much the same thing when he uses the hammer. Yep. And there's Crash, but I don't need it. Because I already have a sword. That's all I need. Yeah. Back to what I was... Oh, I'm going to need Parasol for here. Yeah. I am going to be cheating horribly in the, in the next LP. Not the one after this, the one preceding Mario 3. This, The one after this, it's relatively chill as well. It's not a difficult game. I'm, sh I'm sure it has its elements of dis diff difficulty, of difficulty, but no. The other game, I'm going to be cheating so hard, so it's going to be... No challenge at all. I'm just going to breeze through it. It is technically an RPG. I probably will do some leveling. Even though it probably won't matter all that much. Because I'm just so... How... Just how just, for the sheer fact, I'm going to be cheating so hard. Mmm... Ah, hell. I'll get freeze. Or ice or whatever these guys give you. Oh, I can show you what happens when you're underwater and you have a uh, something sucked up. Right. Okay, yeah, it's freeze. Makes sense, because they're pretty much using it. These are the guys that give you ice. And this is the guy that gives you spike. I want spike. Alright. And up. There we go. I remember having trouble with this section. For a reason. I just need to be careful here and not stupid. That guy can still kill. That guy can still hit me while I've got while I've got needle. I guess I'm not invincible while I've got needle. Although needle is very fun. Yeah. Oh! Still got me. 
freaking thing. At least they're extremely generous with their respawn, because you just go to the last door you came through. Uh, honestly, I really didn't feel like recording tonight. Kind of tired. So that explains if my commentary is crap. But, no, uh, I don't want to go all the way down there. Just get Needle. You, you know what, Laser? I'm taking you. Fine! Go away! I didn't even want you. I'll just get something else. Oh, and there killed th go that kills three sword guys. I cannot talk. I just needed a video to get out. Ow! Oh. And fire! Oh, um, have you guys noticed they've... Well, I don't know if noticed. Notice may not be the good... The goodest word. <laughs> uh, you are probably gooder than me at grammar. Anyways, um, they've they're, they've started making new Beavis and Butthead uh uh Butthead episodes again. Um, I was hoping, even though it wouldn't make sense with like the timeline, that Dario would would uh, come back into it, because if you don't know. Daria was a character in Beavis and Butthead, and then she got her own spin-off entitled Daria that went on for like five seasons, and it was a really, really great show. It even had two movies. Uh, is it fall yet? I'm not going to do this. That's just a quick draw, and I can't do commentary while doing those. Is it fall yet? Where... Uh, where it's between her, or like when when it starts off, she's a junior in high school, and in in his is it fall yet? Uh, it's the summer between junior and senior year, and then the the final movie, the second movie, and also the finale is is it is it college yet? Uh, they stuck with the same formula for that, where it pretty much. Uh, depicts her last days at high school and her graduation and, and when she's going to go off to college. It doesn't actually show her at college. It, it quits right before. Although at the end, during the ending credits there is a, a neat little montage of uh, what all the characters careers ended up being. And some of them are pretty funny. Um, I was about to say what they... what. Daria became, but, well, I don't know. If you're interested in the show, go look it up. I'm sure you I'm sure you can find it somewhere. I think you can even buy... You, I know I have the complete series on DVD. And you can probably buy it at, like, Walmart or something. That's where I got it. I take this, use Crash to take out the other boss. And that's how you beat those guys. But yeah, Daria is a great show, and I highly recommend you go see it. Other than Be unlike Beavis and Butthead, like, which is kind of just mindless comedy, I mean, it's still good, it's funny, but mm, Daria, it's, it's, it gets complicated. And Tom fucking ruins the show with his really, really brown eyes. Seriously, his eyes are extremely brown. Kaboom! Oh yeah. That may not be one of the greatest powers, but it is one of the most epic. Because it's just so great to see Kirby being a badass, exploding everything ever. Uh, this boss is almost done. But I'm not really sure what's up with Meta Knight. I don't know, if, is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know what he is. Because he's kind of depicted as both. I don't know, it's weird. Yeah. Beavis and Butthead is kind of mindless comedy, while Daria is... Oh, I guess I've got time for the boss. Uh, let me find a power first. Um... And eh, you know what, I'll just... I'll just go for it. As regular Kirby. Oh, it wouldn't even matter. Okay, this is the fight with Meta Knight. We're supposed to become Sword Kirby. And we fight Meta Knight as Sword Kirby. I'm just gonna let him kill me though, because it's not really a fair fight if I've got one hit point. 
Alright, let's try this again. Yes! Now, bring it, Meta Knight! He's kind of a bad guy here. Nah, he's not really all that difficult. Sometimes he'll block you, but mostly he'll just, like, when he gets low on health, he'll start blocking you. But, oh, and when you get hit, you don't lose your sword. That would be kind of pointless. Alright, took him out. And as you can see, Meta Knight is a star warrior just like Kirby. That's right, Meta Knight is a blue Kirby. He just wears that mask and he does not use his copy ability. I'm not sure if he actually has it. I guess he... I'm guessing he does, but I guess all Star Warriors have the copy ability, but Meta Knight chooses not to use it. Alright, level 7 Rainbow Resort. I believe this is the world right before the final world. <laughs> he pulls out a parasol at the last second. But yeah, um, good things to come in future LPs, and go, go watch Daria if you're not already familiar with the series. That's a little sum up there. Okay. This is me, Thrasho2, saying be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't. <laughs>